Hello, hello, and welcome to another design tutorial. My name is Janice, and today we are going to learn how to design a wedding invitation in Illustrator. So, this video tutorial has been recorded like over a year ago and I haven't gotten around to editing and putting it on YouTube but here I am right now let's do this thing today I'm going to teach you how to make a cute and sweet um, wedding invitation card as you can see right here and um, again, I'm using my Hopeless Romantic Toolkit. If you want to know more about it, go to JaniceDesigns.co and find out more information about it. So let's get started. So we are going to recreate the sweet invitation card. So first of all, open your uh, uh, Illustrator program, go to File, New and I've set this up to A5 so A5 for US uh, sizes it's 5.8 by 8.3 inches so that's 5.8 by 8.3 inches so I'm using the British International Standard which is A5 and click OK okay so we're going to zoom out so that's um, control minus or command minus on Mac. We'll go to our hopeless romantic toolkit folder. <clears throat> okay, and we are going to. Okay, this time instead of using um, PNG, um, uh, PNG images for the bears, I'm going to straight to Illustrator since I have the program anyway. Go to Illustrator and I'll click base. So all of these graphics are in vector graphic, they are not um, raster images. If you want to know the difference between vector and raster images, you can go back to my previous um, tutorial on that. And I'll open in a folder which is called Doodles. So all of these are in Illustrator files and those in Illustrator files are usually uh, vectorized already so you can um, stretch it how big or how small you want without losing its quality okay so because it's a uh, wedding invitation card we'll select the um, wedding uh, bears so bears that's wearing their wedding costumes wedding gown and we'll just copy and paste so that's command C to copy Control C to copy and Command V to paste. We'll scale it down, shift, scale, and put it right at the top right here, and we'll bring in some more doodles in. We had some um, hearts, heart shapes. We'll take a few here and we'll bring in an envelope. Oops, click, shift, click, and we'll bring in this as well, and we'll bring in this as well. Okay, I think that's all for now. We we'll always can come back if we are missing something. Okay, we'll put all the elements at the side for a moment. And usually you can go you can actually do the border first if you want but I usually like to just do the text okay I'm just going to show you right how I do it so it's you're invited to I'll click out again to selection tool and click back to my writing tool and it says Anna White and Joshua Brooks so, Brooks. Now the reason why I'm doing it separately instead of like um, all together is because um, this two will be the same um, font and Anna White and Joshua Brooks will be a different font. 
so that's why I'm doing it separately. I'm going just to copy and paste this to save you time. Let's copy and paste. All right. So you've used any fonts that you like, but make sure it's not too um, uh, not too fancy. Make it something that is quite um, regular because you want what what you want really to stand out is Anna White and Joshua Brooks. Ainsley, no more. Yeah, so that's. I'll just sometimes you want to copy the size and its color. What I'll do is make sure you select the the, the text that you want. So select this and press I, and we'll use the eye drop to get its uh, color as well as the the fonts that's been using. And I like to use this font for NL White and Joshua Brooks. This is a new font. Um, And we'll like to decrease the spacing between the um, Anna White and the end and Joshua Brooks. So what I'll do is you press Alt and arrow up. So Alt and arrow up to decrease the spacing. And the reason why I want it to make it big and it's different form because the first thing you want people to see is their names. I want their names to stand out because they are the highlight of the the whole thing. So we'll centralize it. Make sure you put a line to board. Centralize it. Group it. And we'll do this again. Central align vertical align center. Okay, so now we'll we'll go to uh, design the border right now. So what I'll usually do is I use take my pen tool, I press P on your keyboard, shift to have a straight line, press shift again to have a straight line. Oops, I'll switch this to the to the stroke, shift again and shift again. So we'll probably can adjust this later, later on. At the moment, I think it's looking okay. But if let's say I want to adjust this side, um, I guess you can just do this here. So if I want to adjust the points, all I'll do is select the one of the stroke on the side using a uh, the direct selection tool. So you can the direct selection tool can you can edit individual points of paths. So that's why it's really really useful for the selection tool. It usually when it selects, it selects the whole thing. Good, I think. Quite, so we'll just have to adjust it manually. So, um, what we are going to do at the moment, we are, we want the, um, we want the stroke to has have that little like ribbon around, around the border. So. I'll teach you how to create a brush. So the doodles that you took from the doodles um, Illustrator file, just drag into the brushes panel. Uh, click Art Brush, click OK. Make sure stretch to fit stroke length. I think that's all you need to know. Click on stroke and click on the brush. It's look quite pretty actually, but because I want it to look a little bit more. Um, more of a elegant look. I don't want it to make too much colors because it just looks very um, childish. It looks more like a children's party. So I'll usually click on the stroke and we'll adjust the color. Go to uh, edit, edit colors, and we'll convert to grayscale. Okay. Now we 
can arrange the heart shapes okay. wherever you like but make sure it looks good two hearts okay. I'll set it to back so object arrange center back so the heart stands out all right and I want my envelope to be in the middle okay and we'll get this uh, before we do the finishing touches we can actually you can actually create something simple like this and we are done basically so this ends part one of my wedding invitation card in Illustrator. If you want me to take this invitation to the next level in creating a more elegant feel to the wedding card, watch out for my next tutorial in part two. I'll see you there. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. I'll see you next time.